good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome back to the this second workshop of preparation for 3d digital game design yes today we are preparing with the little information with the modules and the learnings to get prepared for the online assessments uh, that will uh, be in the month of july so what we have noticed in this uh, particular category that students do get well versed with softwares and tools but there are many deserving students fall short or uh, short in the competition just because they are challenged in freehand drawing right so our expert is dedicating to a, uh, today's talk to this very issue and wants to solve it once for all mr parminder singh rubal ji is a design mentor and of operations head at skill school of experience illusions and life learning parminder singh rubal ji is uh, one of the most decorated mentor expert of the country in the field of 3d and animation he has been awarded best academic head in north and best trainer at national level and uh, his students working in different studios in the country and abroad his career started way back in 2003 during his formal education in the field of 3d art when he successfully delivered a commercial gaming project for national level gaming company based in hyderabad single handed as a part of his final semester project he was responsible for character designing modeling unwrapping texturing rigging animation as well as export to a6 game engine it included 21 animation loops the project was an applauding success and was covered in the press there is a long uh, thing that i can tell you about him his research uh, included most acknowledged exercises of kim nicolarius betty edwards walt uh, stanfield and shamus clan so today let's learn from him about breaking the block for freehand drawing for 3d digital game design welcome sir welcome uh, to india skills workshop thank you thank you puja ma'am thank you for such a kind introduction thank you you are always very kind sir thank you and, so much for accepting our uh, request to be here and guide the students and uh, it's i know you are very busy and you have to leave early so uh, just it's all yours You have all the right. right, all right, all right. Thank you. It always feels great to be with you and with all the students that you, you know, put in front of me to give a chance to uh, give some guidance to them, if possible. Basically, as uh, Pooja Ma'am was mentioning, uh, this category, which is three uh, D digital game art in world scale. it's a very very interesting uh, category you know there are around seven skills in which uh, you have to perform within four days and uh, you have to uh, it's like a sprint you have to go through a sprint and perform very good in all those seven skills in four days and get on top and uh, we indians aspiring to be at the top winning the world skills so we are heading towards a very structured uh, training you know methods so uh, this is one uh, round of training organized by uh, our honorable msc and uh, the main target is to get into the loop of getting trained so slowly we are going to repeat it next uh, week we are going to slowly get into depth so today the topic that was forwarded to me and actually i also suggested that this should be the topic that we should discuss uh that's breaking uh, the block of free hand drawing see in this if i if i just uh, share my screen and i'll just uh, would like to go to you know this uh, uh uh document which should be there with everybody every trainer should be having this and every student who is keen to participate in this very highly competitive competition should of course be having this this is the basic document being shared and uh, this is of kazan uh, 2019 while we were 
know uh, uh, it was uh, the event when uh, it happened in 2019 so why i'm showing this if you, if you just look at the distribution of marks see there are these few things that they are going to judge like work organization management five uh, percent and this uh, interpretation and design brief and then concept art has got 12 and then we have 3d modeling most of the marks are from 3d modeling and the second most marks are from uh, texturing 20. and then we have a few marks for rigging and uh, export to game it the point here is key when what we experience is even if uh, if i talk about a uh, very later experience we had with the you know a friendly workshop of uh, uh, junior competition it was happened in um, uh, last month only uh, with the skill asia training workshop what we noticed was that the candidates from india are mostly not very well versed with drawing incidentally uh, the artists 3d artists getting trained in india are mostly coming through uh, computer education centers or animation academies or even colleges which are not focused on fine arts drawing which is which is not focused towards drawing that much and what we noticed was there were few countries like even uh, taiwan and even russia those kids were quite good in freehand drawing so even if we attempt a concept art with uh, some uh, you know uh, tools in uh, software like photoshop we are using some pen tool or shape tool they have specifically mentioned that they give score for free hand drawing digital drawing so it matters so although the concept art art is 12 marks in all 12 percent still that becomes a game changer when it comes to international competition because most of the people coming there most of the people even in india they all are of course good in the softwares they are good in that's that's why they are modeling and they're they are coming to that level so most of them are very good comfortable with softwares they are knowing all the technologies but this is the area where most of the indians are falling short because the education of animation and 3d is not actually bagged a lot by the art training or the draw, training of drawing so that is why we came to this topic and this topic is should definitely give a sigh of relief to all the competitors out there who are keen to winning and who feel that yes this is our weak point the drawing is our weak point there must be many who have this as a very strong point they will enjoy what i tell but those who find this this as a weakness in them they should definitely listen to it very carefully and should follow what i'm going to tell you this is going to pay a lot in your the performance in your competition in your total score and may help you you know getting to the top so let me now sh share my uh, ppt uh, uh, here it is share and we hit the hmm. breaking the block for free hand drawing guys you must have noticed from whichever background you are coming you must have noticed around you within all human beings that drawing is considered as a rare skill it's seen as a skill that is something gifted somebody is gifted and somebody is not when i usually talk about this i always remember one uh, short story or short uh, you know incident of my life when i was in uh, my school saint joseph convent school there we used to have uh, one class fellow from uh, uh, thailand he used to draw very good we all used to enjoy and in that that class i remember there were just two or three more people who used to draw including me the rest of them could not draw nobody could draw in the class and this is a usual case you find in your classes also if you just look back into your class how many 
in your class of 30 or 40 were able to draw. Everybody was able to actually read, of course. Otherwise, they would not have been to that uh, class. Everybody could uh, uh, write, read. They could do mathematics. Everybody could do that. But when it used to come to drawing, some used to say, my drawing is good, my drawing is not good. If you ask somebody to draw this, he says, no, my drawing is not good, I don't draw good. I cannot draw. That's it. So it's considered as if it's not a learnable skill. It's thought to be a talent, a magic. Some people have, some people don't have. And this has been true for ages. Not only our generation, it has been true for ages. Most of the time it is considered with most of the population that drawing is not something that everybody can draw. do. If somebody knows how to draw, he can draw, otherwise he cannot draw. And because in our education system, it's not taken seriously. So no serious effort has been made to get into that, why somebody can draw and why somebody cannot draw. So this is a very strange kind of block. What in this slide actually I have uh, included is after this, ah, this is one slide I have included. If you will find even the very, very, you know, uh, senior people, if, if you ask somebody like somebody's judge or somebody's doctor, somebody is very highly educated, and you just take a paper to them and ask them to draw, you will be amazed that they will draw something like they used to draw as a kid. So this is called kid's drawing. This is symbolic drawing, what you see right now. This is the drawing that a child develops when the child is just learning the language and trying to make symbols of everything, symbol of house, symbol of a sun. And you will find in each drawing the same kind of eye and same kind of nose getting repeated which is another mystery why is it so slowly we are going to come to that mystery <clears throat> so people are drawing in a different way learning it in a different way in which they should not actually be doing so what happens is even after maturity if you find educated people very intelligent people on very high positions if who, who is very well read if you ask him to draw he's going to draw like a kid you put him you put yourself in front of him and just ask him that please draw my face draw my portrait the person is going to draw something he used to draw while he was kid very kiddish drawing and he will know that i'm doing something wrong he will say no no this is not he's although seeing you in front of himself but still he's going to draw something else out of his symbol symbolic library and he will know that this is not right and still he's going to do that and he's then going to just laugh and say, oh, ye banaya, mujhe to nahi aata hai. I just know this only. This is very common experience. So two experiences. One is you will find in your locality, in your around you, in your friend circle, in your classes, that lot many people are not able to draw. Very less people would be able to draw. And everybody is considering that this is not a learnable skill. Somebody can draw, somebody cannot draw. And it's totally incidental and God gifted. And the second thing is, there, there is a symbolic system out there. If you ask those most of the people to draw, who cannot draw, they are going to draw in symbolic system. They are not going to draw what they see in front of them. Another block I've just included in this slide. We may uh, discuss on that this later on in some other talk because right now we are just targeting one thing that how to score high in world skill competition 3D digital game art. So for that, we need freehand drawing, which most Indian students don't have. They have very good technical skills, technical knowledge. They know everything in and out, but they don't know this. We are going to target that. This block, uh, which I want to, uh, I want to talk or I mostly talk in this slide is about creative block. There are blocks which all creative people feel that sometimes they are not able to have an idea and sometimes idea flow. Sometimes idea flow when it should not actually be, it's not the right time. Somebody is taking bath or just about to go to sleep and there's flow of ideas. Somebody's driving and there's flow of idea. And when he's on the desk, on the table, for three hours he's trying to think of an idea, he's not able to have an idea. This is called creative block. So this creative block mystery is also combined with this mystery of drawing. Why everybody is not able to draw. And if we actually break the block, which we are going to do right now. Today, we are going to talk about that, how to break that block. 
so that all of you can draw in very quick time you don't need very long uh, training to learn drawing free and drawing there is a block which is to be broken if you black break that block you all can draw very quickly very soon so if you actually learn to break that block you incidentally also break the block of creativity so this is very magical thing we are going to talk about right now this is a very magical workshop very magical concept very magical invention that has already happened and the bad part is that most of the education system and most of the indians even many abroad people don't have an idea of this research already been done in 1970s and is being used by the top art colleges and art animation and art training uh, bodies so we are going to come to that uh, i've just put one shot of my place that is uh, like a lab for me it's in chandigarh i put this because all these questions that i'm talking about i have been talking about till now the creative block and the drawing block and all those got solved at this place when i landed here around in 2005 uh, uh, 6 when we uh, did all those experiments uh, th that was the turning point of my life so those experiments i'm going to mention now and how things solved how things slowly 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 solved how i came to know about the researches international researches done for the this innovative creative teaching innovative art teaching innovative teaching for design so there there have been methods which have been invented by those researchers but those are still not known in most of the academies and colleges so i'm going to unravel those things one of those thing i'm going to unravel which is relevant uh at for this topic that is the shortest way to learn drawing you can actually learn to draw in 5 days in 5 days you can learn to draw that is the magic that the researchers behind them i'm going to mention everybody in the next slides so coming to the researches that i did that at this beautiful place still one of the most innovative place here who is which is delivering innovative uh, methods of uh, training uh, students in different creative careers the first research that i came to know about at skill chandigarh in with uh, while researching with my team having all the top international books in the library and all the team members trying to find new ways how to teach the students for different things that includes animation that includes modeling that includes how to learn sculpting very quickly that includes how to uh, learn to draw very quickly that how to classical animate very quickly shamas kulhan and everybody so to start with it's roger wall cot sperry is an american neuropsychologist and neurobiologist his researches are very popular actually in the world of uh, you know uh psychology neurology and the world of medicine also he started his research around in 1950s and 60s and uh, his major concern was that the brain is uh comprising of two different hemispheres now the things that he revealed now has become a second language for us everybody today is talking about left brain right brain left brain right brain but he's the guy who first time started on this topic and his purpose was to uh to explore the brain and anatomy of brain and also to come out with a finding that brain is having two parts and each hemisphere is responsible for different kind of function so he started experimenting with even the patients who due to some injury or something lost the connection between left brain and right brain so both the hemispheres were uh, operating independently due to some a real uh, defect so he did experiments to explore if he could actually uh, 
document and experiment practically show that yes left brain is responsible for something else and right brain is responsible for something else then he experimented with a lot of animals so his experiments ran from 1950s and 60s and it it's around in 1981 that he won nobel prize for this research in which he proved that yes brain is having two hemispheres and both hemispheres are responsible for different functions so in a uh, nutshell his research was something like that left brain is uh, you all have must have gone through from some or the other source sometimes in your life already that left brain is responsible for all the logical things all sequential thinking when you are doing counting accounts sequential thinking organizing something doing all very very logically all these things are done by left brain keeping everything organized logical practical reality you know details these things Th- these are all functions of left brain and what right brain is doing right brain is doing all the dreamy part all the uh, you know intuition part judgment andaza lagana uh, 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 dream karna isko hum then we can move on to to do all the creative things all the artistic thing all those musical kind of thing all the emotional things social emotional intelligence all these you know jo andaza lagane wali cheez hoti hai jo when when we try to make out something without logic when we are actually this also so called perceptual thinking even uh, recognizing somebody's face is also right brain activity because we recognize the person in one piece we are not trying to measure the face uh, dimensions that could would have been the job of left brain if left brain had to uh, make out some face it would have been a very tidy, uh, tedious task for left brain but right brain is doing it in one go so all those things perceptual thinking simultaneous thinking creativity all you know uh, synthesis empathy all these things are by, done by right brain which we can you know just summarize it saying that all the creative things are done by right brain fine done so till now we are done but that doesn't give us any solution we are talking about drawing this and that but now there is uh, mr sperry telling us okay fine there are two brains different parts are responsible for different thing then what 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 are we supposed to do how good we are after this knowledge nothing not much until there is another expert who steps in this is betty edwards an art teacher and author a very sincere very hard working research oriented art teacher when she started teaching drawing she was just an art teacher she started teaching drawing she noticed similar things that we talked uh, at the outset of the presentation he noticed similar thing that she finds many students struggling with drawing and some students to some students drawing is coming out very natural very natural so she was serious about it she was serious about teaching drawing she went deeper most of the art teachers don't go deeper she went deeper that why the hell this is happening there are some students who are very easily and it's not that somebody is very intelligent or that they are maybe the other person who is not able to draw is quite good in many other subjects why that person is struggling so much and we as an art teacher are saying that okay can't you see in front of you this is the flower pot can't you draw that and the student is saying yes i can see ma'am she says then draw that see that properly and he's saying i'm seeing that prop- properly but i'm not able to draw because i don't know how to draw this is a very common scenario art teacher is just saying that look at that and draw as soon saying i'm looking at that but i'm not able to draw the same thing out there because i don't know how to draw so she started reading a lot on different topics psychology was another favorite topic of her and she somehow uh, hit this sperry's uh, research and uh, sperry declaring that there is left brain and right brain and right brain is responsible for the creative stuff artistic stuff now this left her thinking man what's the issue there seems to be some relation there seems to be some relation with this research and this block 
that why so many students are not able to draw while others are able to draw comfortably and another thing she noticed that those who are not able to draw if they start learning to draw that learning is not happening in a very sequential manner it's not that like in reading or writing slowly we you know start uh, uh, making three letter words and then four letter words it's not that sequential in drawing suddenly there is a jump it's suddenly that while practicing student gets hold of something and there is a jump in learning so she thought why is there a jumpy kind of development it's not sequential development it's like suddenly the student has found something that he was not able to find earlier inside his mind the way he used to look it suddenly changed so she said there is something so now she's thinking 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 somehow some day her right brain right brain of betty edwards worked good for her and she did something he she kept one picture upside down in front of a student who couldn't draw and she asked him to make that and he started making that copying that the photograph which was put upside down when upside down person doesn't able to know exactly what it is and there is no symbol symbol attached actually that's another mystery we we'll may talk it later on this was simple attached so what happened is that student when attempted to his astonishment also when he saw and she also saw betty it was very good it was much better than what he otherwise draws he used to draw very kiddish but when he was drawing upside down it it went very good now you know bells were ringing in betty edwards mind man there is something so she went into very serious research into it and she devised exercises she came out with a proper theory proper uh, research result what she proved was that most of the time our left brain is dominant our language is also a uh, activity of left brain most of the time while we are talking interacting we are talking right now our left brain is active it's already always dominating chitting chatting always and the right brain is put into you know dormant stage most of the times left brain always saying i'll do everything man you just stay calm cool i know everything i know all the logic i know everything all the organization all the language all the words all the symbols and but you would say drawing is one thing or creative thinking is is one thing that is not the job of left brain it's a job of right brain and when a student is asked to do drawing it's the left brain always interfering so when a person is seeing something in front of him for example a face or anything the left brain says oh you don't worry you don't worry about that i know how to draw so what left brain does is it takes out a symbol because this is what is the way of doing work of left brain it has got a symbol stored for everything it has got a word for everything this lang language is by left brain so there is a word for every emotion or every every object so similarly it has got a symbol for every object which it developed when you were child so what happens is when you start want to draw a mountain you are going to draw the symbol of mountain that was there in your mind since your childhood if you were have to draw a house you are going to draw a hut a sun again a symbol if you are to draw a face of somebody portrait of somebody so even an adult is going to draw those symbols symbol of the face symbol of the eye symbol of the teeth symbol of everything symbol of the nose so it becomes very symbolic that is what we noticed in that kid is drawing so this is this is totally being done by this culprit left brain he's just throwing symbols he's not letting the right brain draw actually he's not even letting him see what is in front of him and not able not letting the right brain just put down what right brain is able to see in front of him to the paper that's the only thing needed for drawing so she said 
कि इफ आई डिवाइस सम एक्सरसाइजेस व्हिच क्रिएट अ कंडीशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ब्रेन दैट द लेफ्ट ब्रेन इज शट डाउन आई क्रिएट अ कंडीशन इफ आई गिव एन एक्सरसाइज दैट लेफ्ट ब्रेन सेस ओ मैन दिस इज मैड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू दैट आई एम गोइंग आई एम क्विटिंग व्हाट विल हैपन लेफ्ट ब्रेन इज गोइंग टू क्विट and the right brain will be all there very relaxed comfortable ready to do the job and she says drawing is something basic drawing is something that your right brain already knows not talking about the complicated things the basic drawing like your friend is sitting in front of you you should be able to draw his portrait without any problem she said you don't even need training you don't need to be trained to draw there is no training needed like in you know language or anything that we go step by step we first draw one box and then two boxes and three boxes then we later on come to arm and then we come to face no she said your right brain already knows to draw whatever is in front of you there is nothing for right brain that is complex or there is nothing that is simple because right brain takes the things as it is it is not interpreting it it's not make fetching any symbol for that right brain sees the real thing a real thing so it sees the things as it is is going to take all the detail in and just put it like that on the paper this is the magic of right brain so this was not just theory if it had been just theory everybody would have just laughed at betty edwards and uh, you know all the concept and research would have ended she proved it she Devised those exercises to create that condition, and she conducted, started conducted, conducting five days workshop, which we studied at Skill Chandigarh, and we have already been conducting for long for so many years in Chandigarh, and have experiment with so many students, letting them experience the right brain and that creative flight. so that they get right into the creative flight and into the creative careers that is the magic of this workshop this is not only drawing workshop this is a creativity workshop also you break the block of drawing and you also break the block of any creative uh, you know restraint you get free you go into creative flights let me show you something before i proceed i have something ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. see these are some of the images i just could uh, take out of my you know history when we were conducting these workshops and these are some kind of results you see this left is on the day one this drawing is on day one done by arika who was from ambala she was uh, actually a teacher uh, in primary teacher and she uh, came to us to get into creative careers and so we made her do this five day workshop and this is the drawing that she made on the day one this is her real drawing this is how she draws you can see the symbols symbol of nose symbol of lip symbol of ear she was asked to actually make her own portrait and look at her face this is arika only this is arika this is arika this is arika she is trying to make her own face and look what she is making this most of the people most of the population humans do this is total sign of left brain these are symptoms of left brain it's just putting symbols whatever the left brain had in store and then we did those exercises and made the left brain go out exit and what you see on the right is actually done by right brain on the fifth day a person who is zero in drawing was able to draw this free hand this is free hand drawing similarly something like this by this person whose first day drawing was this and the fifth day drawing was this so guys that means there is a magic now in a very short time because i have got a very short time today what i can do is out of that workshop i am going to let you take the first step you be ready now to take the first step because first step in this magical experiment magical workshop is to make you people first time experience the left brain and right brain now i'm going to do that i'm going to make you 
feel the modes different modes left brain mode and also right brain mode so the next thing would be possible if you all uh, get a paper and pencil in front of you this is a small workshop it's not about just me just uh, speaking 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 like a you know loudspeaker i want you all people who are listening to me you just take out your paper and pencil because now we are going to do something practical something practical so please just uh, uh take out your paper and pencil pooja ma'am are you there i would like if if you can see yes, the sir. response if you can see the responses i want their hands to be raised are, are you able to see their hands uh, are you able to see their responses or should i go without that uh they can uh, message on the chat but there's no raising hand option today. fine so so just message all the people just message on the chat box to pooja ma'am that yes we are ready because we have to proceed after you are having a paper and pencil without that you are not going to enjoy the uh, remaining part of the workshop because now i'm going to let you experience the left brain and right brain now this is the entry into the right brain mode which is going to break the blocks i am now making you break your block so the first step is to first hand experience what is left brain mode and what is right brain mode this is the first exercise after that those exercises come when you actually enter right brain mode and within 5 days you all are going to do start doing free hand drawing so please uh, we are waiting pooja ma'am is waiting you just have to message that yes you are ready with the paper and pencil yes so messages are coming chris ilai subhaji dau abhishek patra they all said yes okay okay fine just let's see how much we should wait we should wait for another 1 minute 30 seconds good to go good to go yep all right okay friends so put your paper in front of you put your pencil and just make sure nobody is there around to disturb disturb you and you will need to avoid using language that means you are not supposed to talk to anybody that's not because we uh, all the teachers say to keep quiet in the class not that it's because there is scientific reason to it you will not be able to learn the shift because if you use the language again the left brain immediately dominates so please don't talk to anybody you just request if anybody is around that please don't disturb me for 5 minutes don't interact with me i am into one exercise in which i am going to experience something so put everybody aside and you need to focus on your paper and pencil and listen to me and just look at me what i am going to show okay what we see here is this is some very popular illusion we see two faces facing each other this is one thing that we see the other thing we see is there is a vas there is a vas in the center right is a vas yes and there are two faces also there are two things so if we draw two faces the vas is also drawn if we draw a vas two faces are also drawn okay now guys what you need to do is quickly what you need to do if you are a right hander that most of people must be if you are a right hander you need to draw this drawing on the left drawing slowly draw this face draw this face draw this face just draw this face and if you are a left hander then you draw the the right wala face which is here on the right side so if you are left hander you write this and you draw this opposite wala face you, you don't need to complete the vas no just one side of the vas or just one profile face profile so you draw one face profile okay you draw one face profile slowly just look at the drawing here you draw one face profile and after you draw that we are waiting now again you are going to message and pooja ma'am is going to confirm me that yes they have drawn 
only after that we are going to do the trick so you will draw just one face that is the one side of vase after you have drawn the face you can use rubber of course eraser should be there you're free to use that you draw the profile as good as you can and you then draw the top and bottom line to make the top and bottom of the vase <clears throat> so you are going to draw the one face and top and bottom line to make the top and bottom of the vase once you are done pooja ma'am is going to confirm yes i have got a message from chris abhishek uh, subhajit dao uh, that they are done great 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 so just 5 10 seconds more so that's great the one face is drawn and then the top and bottom is drawn so you are ready for the magic now all right all right all right okay okay so assuming all those participating in this particular uh, experience uh, are ready for the next phase so you are there on your paper there is one face and top and bottom but the second side is not drawn now guys listen very carefully what you need to do is take your pencil and move it over the already drawn face don't redraw just move your pencil over the already drawn face and while you are moving tell yourself that this is forehead this is nose okay before you do it just listen to me one thing because i may not be able to give you instruction after that because you will enter a magic i'll just give you one thing tell you one clue what will happen is i'm going to ask you to do this four to five times four to five times i'm going to ask you to move the pencil over the face while naming the parts this is the forehead this is the nose this is the upper lip this is the lower lip this is the chin this is neck this is neck this is chin this is lower lip upper lip nose forehead right stop don't do it i'll i'll, I'll just tell you give you a go signal and then you will start just listen to my instructions first when i tell you to start when i'll tell you to go then you are going to do this four to five times you are going to put it in your brain very clearly that this is forehead this is nose this is upper lip this is lower lip this is chin this is neck so you are going to feed your brain with the words you are going to feed it you are going to name everything so for you then everything is named after repeatedly doing that within that flow while you are saying this four or five times while you are saying that you suddenly come to the other side and try to finish the drawing try to finish the vase first five six time or five time you are repeating to yourself while moving your pencil on top of the left profile saying that this is forehead this is no this and that this and that all the names and then suddenly you move to the right side and try to finish the drawing what's going to happen is when you come to forehead and to towards nose you are going to face a conflict that is the conflict of left and right brain you will find trouble completing this drawing and meeting both the conditions that face should also be drawn and the vase should also be complete this is a conflict because left brain cannot do this Le left brain has been made dominant because we have used words so i have made the left brain dominant and you are going to face a conflict around there and then you are going to resolve that conflict yourself that will be your very independent way very independent experience and after we do all this exercise later on you are going to share those experience because everybody is going to solve it in a different way so ultimately everybody got but is going to solve it for sure and 
the solution is possible only by right brain. So actually you are going to switch from left brain to right brain in between during this exercise. You just will notice that. Okay, so we are good to go. So what you are going to do right now is you're going to move your pencil on top of the left profile five times, feeding your brain. This is forehead, this is nose, this is lip, this is lower lip, this is chin, this is neck, this is neck, this is chin, this is lip, this is lip, this is nose, this is forehead. Keep on doing that. Keep on naming that. Your time starts now. After you're done, I'm not going to speak anything. I'll be silent for the next uh, minute. You are going to put a message after you're done whole thing. It will take five to 10 minutes. And then you're going to put your message that you are done. And Pooja Mango is going to tell. Okay, now everybody is silent. You start doing this exercise. Feed your mind with the names of the body parts.
uh, so i got a message that i am not able to do the same for the other part ha <laughs> that is the magic maza aaya <laughs> no issue solve it solve it and and and, and let's let's be silent let's let's all those who are attempting let's everybody respond okay you're going to wait for 2 minutes sure who couldn't repeat on the other side you try harder try so subhajit you can also try again you can use eraser use anything right brain is free to do anything yes. Lai and Pravalika Pravali is saying yes, I could do it in one go. Okay, fine. So okay, you just in the message you just have to write K I am done. Okay, so how many messages have come? Come on. Five done. Five messages have come. Yeah. Okay, are we expecting more? I'm not sure. Okay. Anybody else who are uh, uh, participating while we ask for paper and pencil? Yeah, they are were participating, but I'm not sure if we, whether we should wait for long because it's just right. five minutes for the one of your session. Yes. Now we are going to talk. All right, guys. Let me tell you the most common thing. Uh, you can do while I'm talking. You can do one thing. Whatever you experienced, you are free to uh, put it in the chat. Because mostly, what happens is the left brain has been made dominant to all of you. Most of you, it has been made dominant when we fed these names. so the moment you try to complete it so left wing was so much dominant that it is not having that capacity to see the spatial things so it cannot do that spatial thing that okay the face is also being made and the vas is also being made so there is a type of conflict that most of the uh, participants feel like uh, one was responding that he is just not able to do that so if you just repeat your passes you will find a phase when you actually shift your mode and you complete it somehow that moment of conflict is left to right brain mode shifting and the right brain is the one who is going to complete it so this is just one initial experience of right brain mode the exercises that come after this they actually take you deep into right brain mode and those are step by step exercises what my solution to everybody is i'm just giving this initial taste what my suggestion is all those participants who are keen to get on top in world skills and are challenged for drawing and want to hone that skill very strong for scoring that concept art part i i suggest them to go through these exercises these are published under the name of uh drawing on the right side of brain drawing on the right side of brain this is the workshop by betty edwards internationally it is it has been it is being delivered at a very high cost bahut high cost pe internationally sell karte hain wo betty edwards ki jo piche ab academy aur jo unka research center hai but uh, she has published it somebody can do it on his or her own also and what we have been trying for years in chandigarh is is to deliver that same thing of, of out of our lot of experience at a very very you know nominal uh, uh, price or whatever you can say but we, our attempt is to make it reachable to all the indians which otherwise is very difficult to reach internationally 
so otherwise you can go through that collection it's a drawing on the right side of brain the later on exercise starts coming into contour and all uh, i had just put one slide if i had time i would have done the second exercise also in which that same thing that betty edwards did this is her second exercise we are going to draw a complex thing upside down so you will be amazed and most of the people we have been conducting this exercise or workshop for so many years most of the participants are totally shocked at this first experiment only the earlier experiment was just to make you experience something but now this experiment is to get something created out of you so in this experiment you will actually be able to draw such a complex thing you will not believe that oh man i have made this i have drawn this how is it possible so this was something that was possible within this time but i would have preferred to do this also but my crux is that k guys please don't miss this huge research done within this human kind one of the rarest of the rare revolutionary research which told us that drawing is a learnable skill it's not a magic it's not just talent anybody can learn that if he or she does the right exercise if you are doing the right exercise you don't even need more than 5 days you have seen the magic i've shown you this was the 5 days result if he or she can do anybody sitting out there can easily do and this is going to give you a big benefit while scoring for your first concept art portion in this competition right pooja ma'am i hope i uh, you know uh, fulfilled something for you yes for the students i i hope Thank it was so worth much time. Thank you so much, sir. It was wonderful experience for many. Like uh, I've got few messages saying I could do it. Few said I could not. I was I was in a shock state, like whether they will be able to do it or no. So uh, no issue, no issue, because this was just an just just an experience of that state. Now you just have to remember how you felt. Actually, this exercise is to make them feel that there is some conflict of left and right brain if somebody could experience that's good enough but the further exercises are going to take you deep into it so there will be no issue in the next exercises okay wonderful sir so uh, i'd like to thank you so much for your time today and uh, at you know being so busy with your schedule you have still taken out this time it's really thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank, thank you so much you. guys now we'll move to industrial design technology part so let's get back to industrial design technology we'll be back we'll be right back in few minutes